And that even ties back, though, to our topic today, because from a self-talk standpoint, I think a lot of people have acquiesced into these little silos of this is my box. This is where I have power and authority. And then outside of that box, I don't have power or authority. And and they're, that's how they kind of box themselves in mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and in many other ways. And that makes them a less impactful, less caring person, as you just talked about. So it kind of leaves us disconnected. And I think that's another big piece that we're starting to see with our society as a general. It's like, what's the first thing that happens if two people start fighting on a street corner now? Everybody pulls out their freaking phone and videos it versus trying to say, whoa, whoa, whoa what's going on, right? So it, 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 it's almost as if we're living in this movie, right? And we're all independent characters who don't actually inter interact and relate and all these different things. No, voice or, re no voice or reason. No, yeah, no voice or reason behind it. And that's a podcast for another day. So, But I think it is important that we start to open ourselves up to be more engaged, more caring, more connected with those around us that might not be in that small circle, right? Because as you said earlier, you've got these small circles, there's five or six here, there's five or six there, but there are obviously people that are an extended circle and sometimes just offering a hand, um, meeting for a cup of coffee, whatever it might be, can, can make all the difference in the world. And we all go, that's not my responsibility or the old, I don't have time. Um, but that's a, also a two-sided coin because anything could happen where you need to have that support. And hopefully someone will be the person who reaches out to you as well. Right. Now, and, and now I understand something. You have to be selective about it occasionally. Oh, yeah. yeah. You, you know, you have, there are different levels of involvement. And you have to be, I, I think I'm, I think you and I are at, we're at a level where we understand that there, you're not going to, I'm not going to let somebody drown over here. But what's going to be my actual involvement? Am I going to actually call the lifeguard over and have him go rescue? So there's that's going to be that level of involvement. I'm not going to go do the actual rescue, but I'm going to call it out, put a shine a light on it, so that this person doesn't drown and die. Right. And right. having that ability to understand that there are there are uh, there are uh, varying and there are um, there are choices what you do and how you do it to affect a positive outcome 100 percent. now one of the things i'm that i'm doing right now with this i mentioned bonding with these young people bonding and creating relationships is getting them to understand that there is a because there are these are all um that's west side right why not west side it's country area it's not down where we live at where it's just you know it's overgrown with people and there's just stuff and getting them to know that there is a vast world even beyond hawaii that that if they are here for what they're supposedly here for they can partake into it there's advantages there are rewards there are things that you know travel you know that's the thing i've been thought you guys know you can travel for work i mean you when i said that People are like, what? I can travel to work? Yeah, I said, you can go to Guam, you can go to the Philippines, go six months, a year, three months, a month. I said, you know, we worked in Alaska, you know, I, and I'm using just, the great thing about this is I'm not telling any tales. This is real stuff that we've lived. So I'm actually getting to tell it from, a, from an actual part, being able to, that we've actually partaken in some of these things. Yeah, we worked in Alaska for two months. Whoa, you're talking about the eyeballs going up when I said we worked in Alaska. You know what I mean? It's like, I wonder what's Alaska. You could just tell, I wonder what Alaska is like. And there was a time when it was approached that we do that. I was like, what? We're going to do what? What the hell? Why would we do that? <laughs> I mean, that's, you know, that's where I was at that particular time. Why would we do that? But you know what? I wasn't fearful of it. I, I was, you know, sometimes you just kind of, you know, you just got to go along with the program, you know, and maybe not know you, you don't understand everything. That's the other part 